Good day everyone! Today, we are going to learn about the arts of Romanesque and Gothic era. Paintings from Romanesque era It has a remarkable variety of artistic traditions, such as modeling and treatment of faces and draperies that follow Byzantine convention. While the refreshingly decorative feeling comes from southern French styles, it also shows traces of Mozarabic influence, Arabic influence through elongated oval faces, large staring eyes and long noses, figures against flat colored bands and heavy outlining. Gothic era. Painting have been confined to the illumination of the manuscript pages and the painting of frescoes on the walls of the churches in the cosmopolitan style, elegant manner, and sophistication. Lady and the Unicorn Tapestry. Subjects usually depict popular legends and love stories. Patterns like Nili Fleurer or Thousand Flowers show influence which may have been due to crusades. Five of the tapestries are commonly interpreted as depicting the five senses taste, hearing, sight, smell, and touch. The six displays the words Amon so Desir. The tapestry's meaning is obscure but has been interpreted as representing love or understanding. Each of the six tapestries depicts a noble lady with the unicorn on her left and the lion on her right. Some include a monkey in the scene. Rose windows from the north transept about 1230. Stained glass windows were created to transform the vast stone interiors with warm and glowing color and at the same time to instruct Christians. The Shepherd David 13th century Gothic manuscript illustration The painting shows some realistic details and native naturalism. The Shepherd David is based on the biblical story. Sculpture from Romanesque era Romanesque sculpture include reliquaries, altar frontals, crucifixes, devotional images. Those were generally made of costly materials for aristocratic patrons and are usually carried during processions both inside and outside churches. Sculptures from Gothic Era Gothic sculptures have greater freedom of style. Figures were given their own particular attitudes instead of being set into particular patterns. It was used primarily to decorate the exteriors of cathedrals and other religious buildings. The earliest Gothic sculptures were stone figures of saints and the Holy Family. Architecture from Romanesque era Romanesque architecture is based on Roman architectural elements. All through the regions that were part of the ancient Roman Empire are ruins of Roman aqueducts and buildings most of them exhibiting arches as part of the architecture. The doorways of Romanesque churches are often grand sculptured portals. Wood or metal doors are surrounded by elaborate stone sculptures arranged in zones to fit architectural elements. 
The decoration is often quite simple, using geometric shapes rather than floral or curvilinear patterns. Architecture of Gothic Era Classic architecture is a pan-European style that lasted between the mid-12th century and the 16th century. The Gothic style has rich architecture and design, splendid stained glass windows, and thousands of sculptured figures. It included a stone vaulting barn on a network of stone ribs supported by pairs and structured pillars. But the most fundamental element of Gothic style of architecture is pointed arch. The pointed arch relieved some of the thrust and enabled builders to construct much higher ceiling walls. Thank you! We hope you enjoyed and learned something about the arts of Romanesque and Gothic era. Till next time, goodbye!